Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Russia retaliates uh, for the attack on the Crimean bridge. According to the Russians, they launched some uh, precision missile strikes from the Black Sea on some sites in Ukraine. That was pretty fast. And I have here three articles, two from the Russians, one from the Ukrainians. Um, detailing the Russian attack on some points of interest, let's call them uh, this way. And uh, I have some questions about this, but let's start with Russia Today, which reports today on the 18th of July 2023 that Ukrainian naval terror drones bases destroyed. The strikes came in retaliation to the Crimean bridge attack, which claimed two civilian lives. The Russian military has conducted strikes on Ukrainian facilities used to prepare terrorist attacks, the Defense Ministry reported on Tuesday. The attacks were carried out in retaliation to Monday's attack on the Crimean bridge, which claimed two civilian lives and left one child injured. In a statement, the ministry said the Russian forces overnight launched, and I'm quoting, a group retaliatory strike. Using high-precision sea-based weapons, the attack was aimed at facilities that were used to prepare, quote-unquote, terrorist acts against Russia involving unmanned drones, as well as the shipyard in a southern Ukrainian city of Odessa that produced them, it added. Apart from this, the barrage targeted depots in Odessa and Nikolaev that contained around 70,000 tons of fuel meant for the Ukrainian military. All designated targets have been hit. I'm quoting. Fires and detonations have been registered at the destroyed facilities. End quote. According to a statement. So, um... It says on Tuesday, Sergei Brachuk, the head of the Odessa administration, reported a rocket attack on the city, which involved six caliber missiles, but claimed that all of them had been downed. However, he noted that, and I'm quoting, port infrastructure facilities, end quote, and several other buildings were damaged in the strike. Vitaly Kim, the head of the Nikolaev administration, said the attack hit an industrial facility, causing a fire that was promptly extinguished. Um, unveiling footage circulating on social media shows Ukrainian air defense firing at an unknown target in Odessa region, with a power exposure explosion occurring several seconds later. Local media suggested that the strike could have destroyed a German-supplied Gepard air defense system. On Monday, Russia accused pop 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 we know that one. So, let's uh, see if we can hear this uh, uh, video. Let's put it on uh, high volume and let's go. See over there the... Wow, that's an explosion. Zabadum. All right, so that uh, really was a little explosion over there. Let's put it in those kind of terms. Now, that is the first article. I think it explains uh, in detail, but let's go to the second one coming from the Ukrainians, um, which says, let me just uh, change it here. Ram, pam, pam. Ukrainska pravda, Putin's spokesman says attack on Odessa is revenge for Crimean bridge. I will show you where all this occurred once we get to Sputnik that I'm going to use their map. Dmitry Peskov, spokesman for the Russian dictator, has stated that the night attack on Odessa was a, and I'm quoting, retaliatory strike for the Crimean Kersh Bridge. So um, here's what they, they stated, which I already read. They go to the background and now go to Sputnik. Russia special operation, okay, Russia retaliates for Ukrainian terror attack by wiping out fuel infrastructure facilities. And they're going to give us here the, the same spiel. And uh, let's go to the, I want to show you the map. That's uh, on the map where all this occurred. So this is uh, Crimea. 
this is a Crimean bridge where they said, okay, it was destroyed or attacked. And then you have Odessa here and you have Nikolaev here. So this is where the attacks occur in this area, the shipyard and uh, here in Nikolaev from the Black Sea uh, fleet. One, two. Now I have a, a little questions regarding this. Um, as much as uh, some, uh, you know, would, uh, would have expected maybe a different kind of response. This is my question. You were attacked yesterday on the, the bridge was attacked yesterday, wasn't it? Now, if it was attacked yesterday, it took you not even 12 hours, let's say 24 hours or so to retaliate. Now, well, I think it was Sunday, doesn't really matter. It took you 24 hours, 48 hours. Let me just read this one and get the exact thing. I don't want to. There has been explosions on the Crimean Bridge. Okay, this is for 17. So yesterday. Um, it took you, that's 12 hours, 24 hours to hit areas that were preparing attacks and you didn't do it before. Sounds a little bit strange. I'm telling you why. If you know, click, click, that your enemy has that they create all these terrorist attacks they're getting it ready in point a point b point c why do you wait until they do it and then you say oh do it now because that intelligence supposedly that was provided hey they uh, create those uh, drones in point a b c because they said uh, the what the two points at least so they knew about it, but they didn't destroy them before. Why not? Cost benefit? Is that what it was? So why didn't you destroy them before? If you knew, because I don't think they got all that information only after the Crimean bridge was blown up and they say, okay, now we get information. And in 12 hours, they got the information. They got all the things in place, ready and destroyed right there. The attack was too fast. The, retalia uh, the retaliation was too fast, too quick uh, between uh, when the Crimean bridge were uh, was attacked and the retaliatory. Why do you wait for that? I mean, you see the guy getting ready, you know, putting the whatever, blah, 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 chick -chick, I mean, uh, chick -chick, get ready and you wait until it gets you in your scope or something or puts it to the eye, aims at you and only then, not even then, you wait for them to shoot and then you destroy it. You destroy where he mm, doesn't um, a little bit is something strange. There's a question. There's the first one. And the second one, do you think that the Russians, Russian I don't know, population is, I don't know, satisfied with this uh, response? Don't I think that they expected something else? I mean, this is like, okay, well, all right, you hit the, the terrorist sites, which are military sites, according to the Russians. Um, I don't think the Russians uh, necessarily expected that. I think they expected something else as a retaliation. Now, if that was it, that was it. And they said, oh, reta retaliated. I don't think the Russians are happy about it. First one. The second one would be, what could be the expectation? All right. It was not a um, retaliatory strike for some. Then uh, what would have been the expectation? A massive, uh, I don't know, attack on all Ukraine. I don't know, the attack on some commanders, put it mildly and euphemistically here, or what? Now, if that did not occur, why didn't it occur? You can't, that means you don't have missiles. You said, no, that's stupid. We're going to just continue being uh, militarily correct and we're just going to hit military targets. We don't kill civilians or anything. Is that why it was? Or wh what could be the other option? So it is impotence or it's the cool head. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. They destroyed that bridge. They, they damaged it, but we're going to relax. And what should we do? We're just going to retaliate only the perpetrators over there because we are militarily, uh, militarily, um, we have integrity. Is that what it is? I don't think that was. I don't think that that's what it was. And I, suspect that a lot of people in Russia, from some things that I'm reading, um, 
are saying um, are dissatisfied with the this kind of things remember Prigozhin was angry and others were angry not only because uh, his troops were bombarded by the defense minister of, uh, of Russia but because they said these generals are, in, uh, ha are how do you call it they have uh, um, they're incompetent they're incompetent and they don't do the job because they say what are we doing we just stay over there and play ball ping pong at the border we attack you attack is that what it is so they expect more than that they expect to go and finish things up and say i don't think we are engaged in that and i don't think they are engaged in that i think as i said many times russia is engaged in this war i would say militarily between five and seven percent of its potential i don't think that's all russia has and i'm just gonna mention the personnel they have involved over there what I don't think they have more than 500,000 military, 800,000, and potentially they can have a um, you know, general um, mobilization and they could have 30 million. I'm not suggesting they should do that because that's their business, but don't you think there are a lot of Russians who think, why are we playing this ping pong? Why? They don't believe that they cannot do it. And they look, why do we have, why do we have 500,000 people fighting over there? That's it? Why do we involve only this? Where is the rest? Is this what it is? So uh, on one hand, they maybe don't want to accept their limitation. Maybe that's the limits because you can have 30 million people. But if you don't have weapons and you can't uh, get them ready to fight, you can have them. But they're going to be like waiting. Uh, give me a weapon. Give me this. Give me that. And they don't have it, which I don't believe they don't have it uh, because Russia plans like any other country plans for certain conflicts. And it's conflict A, conflict B, conflict C. And uh, probably they don't want to get to conflict C, not even B. This is not even A. That's why they don't call it a war. They call it an operation, military operation, special. Like, oh, we're just going to, we just have, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, this is what the Russians reported. Uh, the Ukrainians say no, no, no. And definitely that explosion that you saw that in that video. Uh, that was a hit target. That was not a debris. That was not a fart. There was nothing like that. People playing with, uh, you know, all kind of uh, firecrackers uh, or fireworks or anything. That was an explosion on the ground of a, an objective. My humble uh, assessment. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.